Hi everyone, welcome to Discover Wisconsin. I'm Stephanie Klett, Secretary of the Wisconsin Department of Tourism. Get ready to take a look at Prairie du Chien, the oldest European settlement on the upper Mississippi River. The history here dates back to the 17th century, but what you'll find today is a city that mixes past and present with ease. Today, the Discover Wisconsin crew will show you the unsurpassed beauty and attractions that call Prairie du Chien home. Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. This is an anthem For those who look for more And never say they've seen it all Windows and black Prairie du Chien is the second oldest community in Wisconsin and it's located along the Mississippi River in the southwestern part of the state. It's a city that embraces its rich history. Visitors can take a step back in time with tours at a number of historically significant sites scattered throughout the area. First on our list, a tour of the dungeon in the old Crawford County Jail. All right, first and foremost, I want to welcome everybody to what we affectionately call as the dungeon. Now the dungeon is uh, one of the oldest structures still intact in the Prairie du Chien area. There is a series of cells here. The first ones I want to show you are rather interesting. Okay, these are the solitary confinement cells. Uh, as you can see, not the nicest place to spend your time. No master bedroom, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, and if you look really closely, some of them have little fossils um, from the ancient sea floor that the Dolomitic limestone used to be. Um, so what you're looking at is probably some of the oldest masonry still intact in the Prairie du Chien area. Prairie du Chien is the oldest European settlement on the upper Mississippi River. And one of the best ways to get a feel for the early settlers' daily lives is a visit to the Prairie du Chien Historical Society's Fort Crawford Museum. We are part of the Prairie du Chien Historical Society. We were founded in 1996. We do have three buildings here, the gift shop where people check in, the hospital which has the famous people that were here along with military history. Uh, and then we do have a lower building, and there we have the city's history. We do have tours available. The Fort Crawford property that was here was about 200 acres. It ran from the river all the way up to the bluffs. Uh, we do have special events here. We even do a mini militia. I want to fire the Ready! Fire! <laughs> if you're into any kind of history, American history in That's particular, crazy. Uh, this is the place to come. Now, if you're getting hungry after a day of historic tours, then you have to check out the local oven downtown. It's a bakery that also embraces the city's history, offering guests a chance to dress up in period costumes and take an authentic black and white photo to commemorate their trip. The local oven is a, a small shop here in Prairie du Chien. My wife, my son, and I bought the bakery local oven and have expanded it from just a bakery to a local food store, as well as the old time photography has its home in here as well. People can come in and get pictures, uh, dressing up in different old time photography outfits. Um, he does Victorian, uh, Western, uh, flappers, roaring 20s, you know, just all kinds of different um, genres of, of the past that anyone can come in and get dressed up, any age, any groups, any numbers and Mike does a really great job of, of creating those old black and white pictures that give you a great memory. And of course, our crew had to get in on the action. Plan your next trip to Prairie du Chien at discoverwisconsin.com. Coming up next. I'm guessing this is elk before I even try it. Am I wrong? You're wrong. I'm wrong? <laughs> Stay with us. We're back in Prairie du Chien today on Discover Wisconsin. You know, being on the river like this, Prairie du Chien has a very long commercial fishing history. And we hooked into a, someone who is very plugged into that history, and that's Mike Valley of Valley Fish and Cheese. He's down along the river every day. And we went with him one evening. We set some nets to catch fish overnight. And then we got up very early this morning, 5 something AM, and uh, went out and pulled the nets up. And there were about 225 pounds birds. of fish. We got carp, channel cat, and flathead, and a moon eye. 
So after we pulled up all that fish, we drove back and he basically gutted them and cleaned them right then and put them in the smoker. I got a little curious about the different kinds of not only fish, but different meats they have. They're not all traditional. So I had to do a little taste testing. So we've been out on the water fishing, and now we're in the store in Valley Fish and Cheese here in Prairie du Chien. And this is Mike's daughter, Crystal. And Crystal, tell me a little bit about this place. It's very unique. We built this store in 2004. Before that, we were just a little garage in the back, and we had one cooler and one freezer, so we've upgraded quite a bit. And there's a lot of unique items around here, some of which are fish that Mike caught, some of which are other animals yes. Mike caught. <laughs> and there's all kinds of different foods available here. We're yes. talking about fish, we're talking about cheese, and now we're talking about these items yes, some on this samples plate. Of, uh, this is some of the stuff that we make here locally. And you won't tell me what these are. These no, are pretzels. Those are I pretzels, that much. yes. All right, so this will be the first one I'll try. Mm. It's good, it's got a firm texture. It's not catfish. It is catfish. It is catfish. Yep. That's yep. catfish? Yep, that's locally caught here in the Mississippi. It's really good. All right, this is next? Yep. I'm guessing this is elk before I even try it. Am I wrong? You're wrong. I'm wrong? <laughs> oh, there's some spice Spicy. on the back end, isn't there? <laughs> it kicks in about halfway through, and it keeps building. <laughs> I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's turtle. It's jalapeno and pepper jack turtle. Uh, beer I got it right! <laughs> Fishing in the Prairie du Chien area is just as popular in the winter as it is in the summer. And every year, hundreds of ice fishermen convene on Greenmore Lake for Prairie du Chien's annual ice fishery. And this is my first time being at this fishery. I like it. My grandpa used to fish his fishery back in his day, and I'm kind of trying to carry on the trait. The fishery is special because you're outside, you're you know, enjoying nature, you're in beautiful Prairie du Chien, and um, it's relaxing. We're looking for bluegills. We've been coming out for probably 30 years now. We have a big uh, cookout here, and we cook fish and fries, and it's just people coming from all over. Um, they come from a long ways away, and it's a tradition that's been going on for years and years and years, and it's an annual thing, and sometimes the fish bite, sometimes they don't. Just a short walk from the lake is the Crooked Ore Bar and Marina. It's a great spot that offers participants a chance to warm up inside and grab a bite to eat during the tournament. You know, the Crooked Ore is a good place for ice fishermen because we got, we're right on the backwaters of the Mississippi River. You got plenty of ice, easy access to the water. Well, you got the Paul Burger, that's good. Our pizzas are excellent. Saturday night, we got prime rib. We got a great fish fry on Friday nights. Come out and check it out. Every, every week's different. Prairie du Chien truly embraces its identity as a fishing community, as seen in the unique way this city has rung in the new year. New York drops the ball, uh, Georgia drops the peach. Years ago, we decided to do something different here, and we decided to drop a carp because it's local to the community, it's with the river here. So it's kind of symbolic of our community. With the park and rec, they've been doing things all week. And tonight was the culmination of, the, of every event. We'll be having a large bonfire. We'll have some music outside. Kids, families, anybody can come down, sit there. And then a typical dropping of a carp. We sing Old Lang Syne and uh, God Bless America. We lower the carp, we don't drop it. We lower it from a crane slowly. It takes about a minute from the top to the bottom to come down. It's anticipation builds up for everybody to watch. Kissing of the carp is, is supposed to give you the good luck for the upcoming year. So. We will put the carp on its throne and it will sit out there and everybody can come by and give it a kiss right on the lips. Big old, big old wet kiss. Make, make a good luck wish for the next year. Head to discoverwisconsin.com to download a free itinerary filled with ideas for your trip to Prairie du Chien. Coming up next. And I gotta tell you, it's hot, steamy work, but it's delicious work. Keep it right here on Discover Wisconsin. Discover Wisconsin is back, exploring Prairie du Chien. Pete's Hamburger Stand, very iconic here in Prairie du Chien, dates back to 1909, and they used a creative method of making hamburgers. So I was able to take over for a round uh, for Brian, who was cooking. And I gotta tell you, it's hot, steamy work, but it's delicious work. My, my grandfather started with just a little stand and he used to bring it to ball games and things like this. And he just cooked them regularly, just frying burgers on a pan. And what happened was they would, you know, they'd take breaks throughout the game and 
people come over and eat. Well, to keep them so that they didn't just shrink and, and get hard, he would start pouring water on them. And it was sort of like halfway through that time, that game, people were saying, well, they're better now than what they were when we first ate them. So that he started cooking them that way, with thin water. And that's, that's how he got started doing that. You know, the funny thing about Pete's is it's this tiny little stand, but it draws from far and wide. I mean, I know people who will drive across a big portion of this state or from Iowa or wherever for a Pete's. And I was talking with some of the people there, some of whom I made burgers for. One woman got a box of like 20 or 23 burgers. And there are people who will get in there and try to buy all 60 or 70 that are on the grill at once. And the lines will extend quite a ways down the block on some days, because all the burgers have to be cooked at once. You put them all on the grill, 15 minutes, they're all ready to go. They dole them out to people who are buying them, and then you gotta wait for the next batch to cook. And uh, it's a patient crowd, considering. But they have deliciousness at the other end. I was born and raised in Prairie du Chien. In fact, we grew up a block down the street, and so pizza's been a family tradition for my entire life. A lot of times we'll take our hamburgers, in fact, that's what we're gonna do today, and go over to the waterfront at St. Ferriol Island. St. Ferriol Island is about 175 acres right in between the East Channel of the Mississippi River and St. Ferriol Slough. It offers visitors a picturesque view of the riverfront, the Dowsman House, and a burst of color. This is the St. Ferriol Island Gardens plant sale. It's an annual event that we hold every spring on Saturday before Mother's Day. St. Ferriol Island Gardens are, uh, it's a part of the St. Ferriol Island Park. We have two full blocks here that we uh, garden on, and we've been gardening here for about 12 years now, 13 years. It's an abandoned homesteads mostly. So these were old home sites that people were moved off of because of the flooding in this area. So we've been gardening down here and it's just a labor of love for all of us. If you are looking for the perfect sit-down meal after a long day on the river, look no further than the Barn Restaurant. Famous for its never-ending salad bar and mouth-watering entrees, this supper club is definitely worth a stop. So the Barn Restaurant is actually an actual barn that was converted in the uh, late 70s, early 80s into a restaurant. We are a traditional Wisconsin supper club, and we're non-traditional in the fact that we, we cater to any age group of people that want to come and try something unique. My favorite is we, we do uh, filet medallions. They're, they're center-cut uh, tenderloin, beef tenderloins, and uh, we top them with, with onions and mushrooms sautéed, and you can cut them with a fork and eat them, and they are, they are amazing, and we have some great sides. You can come on your date night or an anniversary night, which we celebrate a lot of here. Formal couples that got married here over the last 25, 30 years, or someone, you know, on the opposite end, someone coming off the river in the summertime and have a, a drink in our lounge area. I call it the most unique atmosphere in the second oldest city in Wisconsin. And uh, that's because it's just such, so unique with different things all over in here. Old antique lanterns. Um, there's an antique Indian motorcycle in the building. There's antique guns. There's just so many different things that have been collected over the years. I remember coming here as a child with my grandmother. So it, it is it's a joy to me to see this place full again and back up and thriving like it did years ago. See more behind the scenes pics from our time in Prairie du Chien at discoverwisconsin.com. Coming up next. I got to be on the British side only because they were the winning side in this battle. Stay with us. We're back in Prairie du Chien today on Discover Wisconsin. So I'm here on the grounds of Villa Louis and it is War of 1812 reenactment day. Looks pretty authentic, so I'm gonna see how we're doing things around here. Bill Louis was the home of the Dousman family. The Dousmans were important entrepreneurs in the development of Frontier Wisconsin, and they lived on this site for three generations, from 1843 until 1913. It was really developed as a space for entertaining where the Dousmans could bring friends from Chicago, from St. Louis, from St. Paul, and come out here, relax. Bill Louis gives tours of the, the Dousmans mansion uh, every day during the summers, but there's a lot more to this site. And it's really a fascinating site because there are so many layers of history here. Our two big events are the Carriage Classic, which we do every September. People come from around the Midwest 
drive their carriages and are, are judged for their turnouts. And it's, it's appropriate to the site because the Dousmans had a stock farm here for part of the time that they were in residence. So it's great to see that kind of use coming back with the carriages. Today is our annual War of 1812 reenactment. Uh, this is the anniversary of the Battle of Prairie du Chien, which was fought here in 1814 in July between Great Britain and the United States. I got to take part in the reenactment, and it was pretty interesting. I got to be on the British side, only because they were the winning side in this battle, and uh, put on a nice wool red coat, just in the full spirit of things. I learned a lot about that battle, and I learned how seriously they take it. I mean, they were acting this out very impressively. Tucked away in the gorgeous rolling hills lies another hidden gem called Shahada's Apple Orchard. The property is open from May through the end of October and offers apple picking, fresh cider, and a myriad of sweet treats for those who visit. People can come and pick their own apples as well as purchase already picked and polished and washed up apples. We make our own cider and uh, we encourage people to come with their families, with their pets. I think going to an orchard is like the quintessential fall activity. What do you think is like the connection to Shahada's to Prairie du Chien? Why is it special to be located here in this area? Well, we love the community. I grew up here. Uh, my father started this orchard in 1968, so I've been here forever, it feels like. <laughs> um, and we've expanded, my wife and I have. The community seems to embrace us and we embrace the community. We love helping out and volunteering. And of course, the topography here in the Driftless area, you cannot beat it for the beauty, but it is a special place to grow fruit. Prairie du Chien is truly a beautiful place, so we decided to take it all in by boarding the Maiden Voyage for a little sightseeing on the river. Well, hey guys, welcome to Maiden Voyage Tours this afternoon. My name's Robert, owner-operator of the Maiden here. We went up and down the river, we went under the bridge, we went into some cool sloughs and really checked out some cool wildlife. Some of the birds there spend their winters in Costa Rica, which is wise of them, and now they're just flying around. And then, of course, bald eagles. There's two more. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, there's a bald eagle right in front of us there. He's gonna get a fish, too. Eagles love the Mississippi Flyway, and Prairie du Chien is a huge stop for them. In fact, eagles are so common in this area, Prairie du Chien hosts Bald Eagle Appreciation Days every February with educational programs and the opportunity to see these amazing birds up close. What, what's your favorite thing to show them along this river? One of the, the greatest things, I, I, just really some of the history of the working men and women that worked the river from years ago to date. I do talk a lot about the, uh, the clamming industry, uh, the buttons here on the river. This is a pearl, freshwater, freshwater pearl. pearl here from local waters. The upper Mississippi River had some of the nicest freshwater pearls ever found on planet Earth. I would tell people to come to Prairie du Chien for quite a few reasons, and you can learn so much about the history of this state and really of the country. There are great historic structures to visit. Really, it's like a drive or a walk through history, and you can just take in everything. It's incredibly beautiful here along the Mississippi River, so just think of this as your great get-away-from-it-all place. Discover Wisconsin is the state's leading media brand. Continue the adventure at discoverwisconsin.com and stream episodes on YouTube and Roku TV.